What's up guys? It's Brent back here. And we're going back into some more Slay the Spire Downfall of Runa. Last time, I got my Gremlin fix, um, played those Gremlin boys. We're gonna go in with the Sneko and see what we can do. I don't know if the Sneko is my least favorite of the Downfall characters. However, I do have a, a certain uh, uh, aggression with not, because unfortunately I have ADHD and dumb brain. Um, so memorizing things is hard and especially over a long period of time I'm not good at it. So we're gonna go back in here. There's a lot of cards that you want. Ooh, gremlin cards Slime boss cards are also really good. These are actually probably my two favorites. I Think gremlins are gonna be more generically good But we'll see and then I think silence the way to go here All right, we're gonna take the bucket again as we do um, we're just gonna leave here. I think we're fine to do so. Um, let's see. No bonfire to start with here. No super exciting starting path. We do have a lot of question marks here on the right, but only one elite. But I think every path, nope, there's two. I think that's the path of choice. It has to go this way. Actually, we're probably gonna go wrap around here. Go ahead and start hitting on that shop, man. Now, the Sneko deck, for the people who don't know, I've, I've been meaning to try to think about um, think what each of the different downfall characters do. Because I know some of you guys don't see them as often, and we're playing through so many different characters that it's hard to um, keep track of it. So if, there, if there's a character um, I've missed and you need to know more about, um, we'll try to go back through them. So they start with some unknown cards. They can be cards from any of the different classes, uh, including um, the different downfall classes. So oh, there's a lot here. Um, yeah. Oh no, it's from the classes that we've we made we built. Never mind. Uh, a little wrong on that. It's the Watcher, Gremlin, and Silent cards. These unknown cards can pull from. Um, Muddle is a keyword here, and then uh, the Sneko uses some like range kind of uh, stuff. Tail Whip will be the probably the card we upgrade of choice. Um, Identify is not that great. That's what the ring of the uh, the Sneko Soul does. I'm not super good, but we're gonna go here. I think I'm gonna muddle two cards or do I want that guarantee? I think I want the guarantee on this. Makes it just a little bit better not to gamble it away. Special relic is malice. We're trying to deal two to all enemies if you're Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. And Sneko starts with a pretty high max HP because there's sometimes we are going to just take a bad wallop. Reflect here is pretty good. Don't really need it. Um, we are going to snack bike, hoping for a zero. We got a three. Um, Sneko is definitely a roll the dice kind of characters, as it should be, you know, Sneko I and all that. Get rid of with holes in here. And then we're going to do this, that one. Not that great, but still good. Malice for the win. Um, actually, we have silent cards. I'm actually going to take. Uh, dream of the black swan here. I actually really like it. Um, so we'll see how that does. Oh, these are not what we want to see. Um, draw two muddle. The highest card in your hand's not bad with snake break. Just a little bit of draw power here. Dice crush, as much as I like them, I feel like I get such bad rolls on those kind of cards. Oh, weakness and vulnerability. High roll, low roll. Unfortunate. Um, I was hoping for weakness to persist through two turns. Been really good here. Um, next attack costs zero. Deal art, all artifact, deal nine damage. Okay. So I guess swivels the, the card of choice here. Then we're going to snack by hoping for a zero cost and we did not get it. He had no artifacting, so it didn't matter too much, but I was hoping for it. All right. So there's the um, dream for that tail whip here. Then we're going to go rake. Draw two. Oh, and then we got a zero on that one. Not too bad. I like to get the shopkeeper under 50 on the first the first go around here. Um, that's how, if I feel powerful or not, um, is based on that. And we did. Not powerful, I per se, but that we're doing okay. Um, I think we go fragment here. Pretty good. There we go. A strike card. I actually don't care about strike cards. I think I'm actually going to go quick move here. Um, if we had Ironclad or something in here, like for a payoff of the strike cards, I would be more tempted. 
Oh, I do like Snape, uh, Snake Sap here. Um, upgrade gives you, because it's always at least one energy. Um, and it can go up to, up to four energy. I think we'll take that. Pretty good card here. Good for extension. Alright. Ooh, fasting here too is interesting. I uh, will go with that Sap. We got the one energy back. Not the best. But let's go for the Rake here too. Uh, nothing. Tilip did go down though. So I'll take that at least. Alright. Black Swan here giving us those thorns. Quick move. Not good. In the slightest. Uh, Flechette is only three and these are four. So this is nine. Oh, I can't play it though. So this is seven, just enough to kill. Okay. Six thorns, but this one is counter is four. I do like that it tells you. Um, quick move first. There we go. Free. Oh wait, that was just the kill. Did not need to risk it like that. And none of these are. Uh, a common attack card or common skill card. I think I need a few more attacks. So let's. See if we can get something interesting there. Tail whip. Ooh, got the two and two on that one. Pretty nice. Then we'll see if we get a muddle. Defend. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Uh, snake sap. We did get the, the two for that. The two fur and the free strike. Or actually more value. This is why you really need something like a way to save your energy or produce more draw. Um, Consecrate is actually pretty good. Same with signature move. If this is the only attack in our hand. Yep. So we'll do this. We'll do we will get muddle something. We did get to zero, so we will get that signature move played. Alright. That's great again. There we go. Uh, let's rake first and then we'll bite. We got no draw off of that one. Unfortunate. All right, a little bit more damage here, but we should get out of this pretty easily. Yep, here we go. There we go. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, they are dead, but we did mess that up a little bit. Took a big hit, but mango should help. Um, go for and draw one card. A power card against it. Randomly exhaust a power card. Huh. Eh. I'm not too excited about it. Ooh, unknown strength card or unknown draw. Ah, uh, let's take the strength one. Could be interesting. Jack Lope, whenever an enemy dies for fun, there's a cost the card you played. Pretty good if we play high cost cards like me. We don't have access to something like Meteor Strike, but in theory, let's get that Snake Sap upgraded. This is a little bit risk reward because it, it, the guarantee is not any higher, but still interesting. Snake right here. I'm going for probably the quick move and then the fragment of the universe. Not sure. Let's quick move first. Oh, we did get a free. There we go. Love to see it. Could have went with a little bit more block, but I'm hoping we can just knock down some of these, these little grimmies. Uh, you're dead next turn. See here. Okay, we go up to four. You're also dead in a couple turns. Uh, I should just get you killed though. And then we'll go on the bite on you. Gift did go back up, which is interesting. They will be considered the highest cost card in our hand, which sucks. Unforgive is not good. Uh, Toxic Wave is though. They're all dead. You need a poke. Uh, we'll pinprick you. Actually. Follow up, you're dead. I think, yeah. That we do that now. Yep, they're both dead. All right. Not too bad. Hopefully 50. Well, that's not gonna help. Get a bunch of defense up. Ow. Okay. Hey, great. So we get some draw here. We do, very good draw too. Uh, we'll muddle the highest, which is to kill apparently. I watch those numbers. I just like Meat Lantern, even though it does like restrict you a little bit. It is very good. Uh, and Trash to Treasure is also good, but a weakness card. Let's do Trash to Treasure. There's some times where I just don't want stuff in my hand. 
Ooh, that malaise would have been very good. Is it going to reshuffle, though? I don't know if those cards are kind of set. They're not, so it does reshuffle them. That sucks. Okay, okay, okay. Get some wards up here. That's going to be good. Quick move. Made that more expensive. So, I will put... Is this back into your hand or back on top of the deck? Into your hand. Retain intercom. Let's do that for now. That'll be good next turn no matter what we do. Alright. Uh, probably tell... Well, snake sap first, of course. Still have the glimmer for protection, so we'll hit you. Up to four. Not the best. Let's hit the one with the most health back here. Had the most prolonged weakness. We'll Glimmer again, because that was very good. Then yeah, we'll continue with more damage. Take a little bit, but they're also taking damage every turn, too. And they're all taking five now, so that's good. Flex. Snake Rake. Let's see if we get some draw here. We do not. I'm going to trash this. That's not very good. Um, 11. I should just kill the backliner, then. Since I cannot get no benefit. Okay, tail whip should just end it. Yep. Very good. Um. Uh, and flesh idols just pretty good. Yeah. I think fights are gonna be a little bit longer. I'm kind of tempted to take the scorch girl. I think I will. Um. We'll take a exhaust card. Lock potion is definitely better than elixir. Try that on for size. Get a mimic here. Um, Dazzle still. I have three more whiz, which we do not. Definitely do not. Well, we can gain a little bit, though. A uh, Scorch Girl, definitely for the start with. And then let's go ahead and get that whiz with that Presto. If we can steal some strength. There's Snake Sap. That's actually very good. I didn't. We'll try again. That was my bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, I like Meat Lantern a lot, but I don't pay that much attention, unfortunately. All right, let's try again. Getting me right off the back. All right. Um, Ironclad's very good. Watcher's very good. Gremlin's very good. Try this again. We didn't have that much of a build going anyway, so take this. Let's look back this time. I haven't done this in a hot minute. Um, Ordeal run with Y. Uh, we've already unlocked the, the new character, I think, so. Uh, let's do Ordeal with White. Bonfire. Ooh, there is a good... Oh, there's a bonfire. That's a good path. All right. I mean, there's so many campfires. You know what? Let's go something. Nonsense. Give me something good. Boom. Memorize card in your hand that started unknown add it to our deck not bad mimic to start with you are gonna stuck concludes not bad um tail up here make bite and that is not three wonder if it keeps the cost reduction reaper's actually very good you know what boom added to the collection all right Take some damage here. Okay. Uh, I mean, we should just continuously tail whip them. If not, just for the damage. 21. Uh, conclude is 12 to all enemies. We should use that at the end of the turn. Alright. Conclude. 12. It's almost dead. Ouch. And there we go. Snake bite. Took, took a, a hefty wall up here. Crutches. Whenever you gain a status. One strike. Enemies lose a strength. That's not bad. I'm not taking you this time, Meat Lantern. You already got me once, and that's all I'll give you this time. Strength cards. Okay. Build towards that strength kind of deck. Limit Break, Thunderclap. That's not good. Uh, Thunderclap's really good, but I mean, Limit Break is not. And we can just kill one. That's pretty good. That's the downside. Some cards end up being, like, useless, unfortunately. I mean, this is one to all enemies. Let's see if I can hit you. This is four to all enemies. I get a good roll. Three. Nope. Unfortunately, it is not the roll we wanted. Um, 
I mean, if I do this, I can't play that now. Oh well, no healing for me. Rumbling armor is always tempting, but I mean, we have a pretty good high starting health. If not, we just gotta play it. Let's try it. I want that strength, so. Unknown Ironclad card. Let's try that. Offers to throw a card. It's gonna give us an upgraded version, I think. Let's do this. Obtain Reaper Plus, Gambling Chip. Ooh, Gambling Chip. How much does Reaper Plus do? Five. You know what? Give me Gambling Chip. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying different things. Uh, we want the Elite. And I'll take the Helpers. Uh, we'll gamble these ones away. Flame Barrier is very good. Um, I would erupt, but it's not going to be helpful now. And that went up to three, which sucks. Okay. Fire Breathing is interesting. I should just play it just to get it out. This one exhausts. I don't think this is the right turn for it. And you draw status or curse, yeah. Fire Breathing was just to get out of the deck more than anything. Another Flame Barrier. Do this. That game went back down the run. Crumbling armor is going to exhaust. We're getting four strength. So whenever we play a skill, it's going to hurt us now. So I definitely want to just go boom. Ooh. That counts as a skill. That does not count as a skill. How much does this do if we play it? I don't know. It was more than what we wanted to because we went from 11 down to 9. So. Whoopsie do. This is fine. Do that. And went up to three. Temporary. Right. Not probably worth it. We took some damage for it. So high block cards are fine with that. That went up to two. That was worse. Oh, I'm going to take 18. I was just a little bit short. If I had done it the other, like, the other way, I probably would have had vulnerability and been able to kill him. It is sad. Uh, no, I want a healing card. Um, trash to treasure is pretty good in case we need to like get something bad out of our deck. I am gonna go for the elite. Oh, they hurt. This is bad. Get berserker out of here. First stage your hand is zero next turn. We'll try that. Probably can't. All right, trash to treasure. Get rid of the crumbling armor here. Oh, it just hurts us, and we can't play skills now. That was not good. I didn't think it would actually work that way specifically. This is 15. Kill him. I should have struck first, maybe. But they're not doing any damage to us, so. Oh, she is, though. One more time. I can't go out this way. <laughs> Told you, I'm not good with the silent. That's why I also don't like the runic dome. I'm just, I can't. I can't remember things, but. Oh, I mean, I was not expecting that as an option. All right, bucket, we're going to leave. All right, ego cards. This is going to be weird. This will be really weird. I can already feel it. Ego cards are really good. And we're actually going to go this way. Let's toke out. Actually, what if we identify draw one card for every enemy in combat? That's very good. So Identify is actually going to be very good. Because we can continuously get more ego cards. Um, Alright. Alright. This is an interesting way to do it. We should draw the card first. Did that a little wrong. Also, the Sneko by BM3 was unfortunate. Got no weakness there either. Our rolls are crappy. But this one I can see being a fun one. All right, I want to dual wield this again. All right, poke you, one. Poke you again, two. Really going for the zero, but not have it yet. Oh well, yeah, there's no downsides to it. Boop, looking for a free one. Nope, never got it. All right, ego card. Let's see, we, we really want, um, Eric, four, eight attacks you play. I actually would take the King of Greed here. 
Reduce the highest off-class card by... We're going to be taking a lot of off-class cards. Hmm. Actually, this is going to be better. I had to think about it a little bit. Another unending supplies. That really gives us a lot of fodder to work with. Hmm. Yeah. I'm really just wanting, like, ego card the game. Portal. All right. Now we're on the side we want to be on. I'm going to draw one card and free card. And retain. Well, let's draw one card. Let's do this. We're going to have a lot of cards to work with, so I'm not, like, opposed to this. Okay. So what's frozen? Oh, I, have, I get to pick it too. That's fine. So we want to do windmill strike. Oh, that was not enough damage. Just a lot of nonsense over here. If the card becomes zero, this will be the card of choice. Because then I can have zero cost cards be exhausted by the king of greed. I like it. I, it's it's weird. So I choose what's frozen. Freeze this. Get out of here. Um, can't freeze the days. Um, sword throw. What do you do? Uh, no, that's not good. Let's do this. I think bite something. Sword throw became two. Sixteen damage. To do it, just to do so. All right. Freeze the days again. Can't freeze them. So. Oh, I cannot play attack from Entangled. I guess he burst aggregate. I mean, we're taking five now because of that. That's fine. Ouchie. Um, doesn't matter. This should kill. Okay. Nope, Meat Lantern, you can't get me again. Unknown skill, there we go. One of ten upgraded cards. Yep, upgraded ego card. That's what I like to see. I do like it also that it's also planned in here. Like it wouldn't be something I would expect to have like a symbol for it. Unending. Give me this. We did get the weakness. That's what I wanted. Still gonna take six. Like we have this setup. It's just getting it going. Faded. Unending. Priming is fine. Not really what I want. Shrug. And that's it. Mimicry. Uh, 16 healing? Yeah. Definitely worth it. I mean, we're gonna take five, but. Okay. Faded, defy death. Got punch. Uh, priming? Yeah, that's it. I think I played defy death at the wrong time, honestly. That's fine, though. Iron Fang is just good. It's like Iron Wave, except a like a roll, but I don't have a problem with that really. Uh, get that gift here. Why didn't? Oh, I get the bag of marbles from that. Mimic? Nope. Rune of Simplicity. Uh, I think I'd rather have the Sapphire Key here. Drop. Hello, my friend. How do you do? Break. And reduce the cost of the highest cost card in your hand to zero and give it exhaust that's fine dual wield snake bite oh it actually hit zero this time all right faded an ending iron fang strike an ending still the shopkeeper is going to hit me so much i could have weakened them i guess would have technically been the better room move blue scar do this Blood for blood, that's fine. So we'll get one turn to beat him up. Circle shield now. Iron. Oil spill, that's fine. Oh, I should have done that first. Didn't even think about it. Didn't get him under 300, which is unfortunate. But another card reward here. Not the punishing bird actually might have been okay, but. 
Add a random off-class skill in your hand is muddled. Let's try that. Okay. Ooh, singing bowl would have been awesome. Uh, to all enemies, upgrade it now. I think I just want less basic strikes. Um, I think I'll go for the question marks. Remove two cards, upgrade. Upgrade an ego card. I'm going for the ego, so. The forgotten. Equal to this turn's. Lose strength this turn equal to unblocked damage dealt. That's pretty good. Oh, another shopkeep. Hello. Oh, yeah, this is good. Purge. Exhaust a strike. It has gone from the deck. Just six hands again for each status and curse in your hand. Oh, regret is good. In the right build? Put that in like a. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, this is also very good. Well, it's equal to unblocked damage dealt. And they're going to block everything, so. Unfortunately, that's actually not going to be very good. Which is sad. I mean, we got plenty of block this turn, but... I was hoping to take advantage of the, the Forgotten and deal some damage and such. Okay. I mean, Unyielding Supply is actually not going to be that good. Because um, they're too slow. Faded. Tail Whip. Surprise Guard. On Guard. That was fine. A little bit of damage, just not too much. Mm, no. Well, what do you do again? Oh, he does the eye ones. Fragment of the Universe is fine. Weakness card, sure. I want the unknowns. I have no money, so... Anchor, Chemical X, both have been very good. Elite, how do you do? Little Robot Men. Okay, Faded. Oh, King of Greed here is kind of... Kind of gross. I think of all these, well, do the improved guard. Do the bite. I was hoping for a high roll to keep the uppercut. Oh well. Not the worst card to lose. Throw two cards, increase this cost by one this combat. That's pretty good too. Put all in your hand and give them the Thero. Huh. Dang. Um, I go Iron Fang here, I guess. And then block again. Yeah, I have no cards in the sequence, so that doesn't do anything. Getting a little low here. Oh. I was hoping for... Yeah, the Forgotten this turn. They do no attack. And you can lose some strength. We are going to lose all these cards, though. To the King of Greed. Oh, bad. Bad roll on that. All right, so you're not doing as much, Marion. Well, let's do Faded first. I was really going to be sad if the King of Green came up. Um, no. Marionette here. Iron Fang. Block. Aggregate. Nothing. Yeah, we're going to take another four. We still have a lot of damage, so. Okay. Oh, Forgotten here again. Very good. Um, we're gonna go snake bite here. I was hoping something would cost less, but they did not. I mean, technically we have a very slow form of scaling, but there's King of Greed, Marionette's too expensive now. Steve Reality's pretty good. Minion Master's not good. Aggregate gave us an energy. Oh, block, not bad. You can do this. I'm actually okay losing all those. Technically, we will never... The King of Greed should not exhaust our whole deck because we're adding new cards every turn. But this is a bad one. <laughs> uh, you're dead. I'll tame the, the Prairie Reel. That's actually pretty good. You technically could do this and get a bunch of cards over the course of a while, like a bunch of relics, if you wanted to wait long enough. I don't, but in theory, you could. I don't think I need either one of those. Tungsten Rod's actually very good. I want I want the gold. Give me that gambit. Okay. You along here. Bunch of just regular fights. So hopefully we won't take too much. Oh, we get the Violet Dawn. These guys just exhaust cards, so that's okay. 
I don't remember them doing that much damage. They do have thorns, which is kind of annoying, but... Do that. Cute. Play the top card, you draw a pile. At a random enemy. I don't know what that one was. It was Clash. Got it. Defend, and then we're going to bite something. Um, you're one now. That's fine. Okay. Another Martexa. Baited. King of Greed here is good. Infernal Blade's fine. Add a wound. That's fine. Bunch of energy. Defend. Defend. Give me some defense and block. And hit you again. And then hit you again. Not too bad. Oh, there's... Unending Supply is definitely needed. Glittering Gambit. Three souls. That sucked. Unfortunately, we got all all blocks this turn. Well, with unending supply, they can't <laughs> they can't uh, burn us out that way. Draw two, eight memories, another draw. We are down to almost all defense here, though, which is funny. Um, I mean, we're gonna play most of the hand, I think. Um, fight, you're dead. Sure, sure, sure. Honestly, King of Greed, I'd rather exhaust the rest of the wounds out. Okay, that ended up working out. Um, I think I take Heart here. Throw one card. Whew, that's a lot of max HP to lose if we fight a shopkeep. Now let's take Luminous Break. I think it ends up being better. Nope. Um, Ego card, yes. I don't feel like we're supposed to get this many Ego cards overall. Magic bullet and give them retain. So faded, unending magic bullet. Um, we're just gonna do snake bite here for hope. Nope, bad roll. Okay, frost shard. Weird. Um, you need to lose. Oh, I can't. Let's anger first. I need you to lose. Yeah, we'll do this for block. Anger here. You're only doing three damage. Choose card in your draw pile. They cost X or less until played. Does this choose one? Glittering Gambit. 29 souls. That's a good one. I'm kind of happy with that. An ending. Gambit. Time Bomb here? Sure. Oh, Toasty. Toasty's pretty good. Magic Bullet. Faded. Anger. I don't know how they cost like and play a copy of it let's do iron fang that's actually I'm, I'm actually pretty okay with that one or loop get that out of here are taking 12 here well 11 tungsten rod um erupt fire breathing forgotten anger and we're done oh red shoes taking a copy Fairy in a Bottle will save us at some point. I do like most of these, but I think Fairy in the Bottle is worth taking. Unknown three cost. Uh, forgotten on you. Unending. Program. Sure. Put that card into stasis. Okay. Red Shoe. The Forgotten again. Glitter. Um, curl up, I guess. Oh, that actually didn't do what I wanted it to do. We've done that a little bit differently, but... I'm, I'm, I'm playing loose. That's good. Today's expression. I feel like also... Oh, I should have done it for next turn. Um, seeing some of these cards, like these ego cards that we haven't seen, is kind of cool. Um... Iron Wave and then Strike, I think. And then we'll block. Okay. Not too bad. Red Shoe. Do that. Do that. Oh, and I think the Tungsten... Yeah, blocks the Red Shoe damage. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Zero cost. Zero cost. Pizzazz Potion is not good. 
Unending. Put this up there. And then we'll block and then we'll poke. Not too bad. These guys do like small amounts of damage. A lot. Alright. And they get a little bit of block. Red eye. Now gold rush. Replay combat with an attack double your strength. Ah, uh, okay. Faded. Charge up. Glittering Gambit. Uh, we'll just play this out. Red Shoe. Yeah, I can't do it. Gold Rush here. And then that's it. Taking six. Oh. A little bit less than that. Oh, we have some regen, so. We kind of need to take damage. Oh, Brutality would be really good. That would keep our Luminous Bracelet from, like, ever really triggering it. Triggering. It's always dealing one damage to us. And then the Tungsten Rod blocks it. So, yeah, we take it. No, it actually does not reset the bracelet, though. Interesting. Uh, Gold Rush again. We're going to poke you out of here. Get you gone. Weakness to you again. Oh, all these are going to be exhausted. Exhaust that anyway. All right. Take some pokes. Because I should give some, like, regeneration and stuff, too. I think. That. Suspension. I guess the Entrench. Memories. Weaken you. I had a copy of this card in hand, too. Do the card in hand, add two copies to your hand. Right, I guess. I'm entangled. So let's play the two slimes out. Slow fight. Ooh. I didn't realize it was attacking us that much. Does that do... I don't have a lot of attacks. 18 damage, though. I mean... Do that. They're both dead now. <laughs> they are up and out of here. Now it's just this one. 15 from them. Uh, forgotten should fix that. Force field should help with that. The inevitable heaven. Okay. Whenever you attack the center deal equal to your remaining block. I don't think I need that. I think I just want to try to kill them. I didn't get the roll, unfortunately. Um, what block do I have? A block, and then I'm going to entrench, I guess. And then we'll weaken them. Yeah, they just took that much damage back. Whatever's remaining. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Alright, rare card, sure. Ego card, sure. We're starting to to, to reach a critical uh, mass of this. Uh, sure, 49 damage. Nice. I should have done unending there. That was dumb. We still might die here. Like, there's a, a high heal eight, remove all your debuffs. Penance is very good. I like that. All right, they're already weak. Really just need a block. Yeah, we should block here. Okay. To all enemies, this card increased by the amount of block you gain this combat. Exhaustive two. Okay. Sound of stars. I mean, they're not attacking. I really feel like I should get on any supply, but good amount of damage there. And we're getting strength from Red Shoe, so. Which, Tungsten Rod, Red Shoe, could be a full... Where do you play five attacks? Ooh, that's really good, too. Do that. He blocks in the round, gain two reflection. Anger, Defend, Reversal. Um, and I think I will go with the Weakness Potion here. Try to play it smart. I'm down to five, though. But we still have the fair in the bottle, technically. A uh, weight training will not hurt us because of tungsten rod. They'll lose that much draw a card here. Let's see if we get some better. Nope, forgotten. And then iron fang. We still might get out of this. Okay, anger, unending. It's time. <laughs> Down to two. <gasps> okay, twenty-six of them. Not enough to kill them. Go ahead with that. Oh, 
uh, and ending here. Oh, snake bite would have killed them. That's fine though. I think we're okay. 27, that is a lot of block to get through. This is 39 though. Boom! I don't think any of these I want. Exotic beverage. That's a cool one. And then we'll just do a rare card. Sure. Oh yeah, we want to identify cards, so sure. I've not seen that one, so it's a pretty good cool card. All things considered. I wanna hit some rest, so. I think I'm gonna go bonfire first too. Oh, where's my free? Free action? Uh oh, there's so many cool cards here. 15 dance, next attack is zero and deals double damage. Gotta take that. Uh, break that sapphire, give me that max HP, we're up to 115, and then we'll toke out a card that's bad, which is just the basic strikes. Overall, at the end of the day, we're just going to be all ego cards. <laughs> oh, I mean, I gotta go the killer, right? Upgrade these ones. One. Let's just do those two, I guess. And Hornet. Oh, we took less for the thing, too. 65 is still a respectable amount of HP. Ooh, it's sweepers, that were pretty tough. Okay. Harmony. If it fail, permanently increase the score. Oh, if it kills something. Permanently increase the strength of this card. Okay. Gain four strength. Lose half of your current HP. Heal half. Loss of this card. Heal the HP loss. Okay. Apathy. That's fine. Gain piercing. Start from both of these. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to like make this work. Okay. All right. We're going to go and see if we can make this work. We need the next attack you play. Oh, it costs zero. So I actually could have played that. And this one would have cost zero. We're all 60 though. So I can kill the 20 damage one. Yep. This does 60 actually uh, a little bit of a waste here but got the additional strength so we're taking 18 which is a lot but well a little bit less 13 less than that so 15 but weakness unforgetting is actually going to weaken him a bunch i'm gonna take a, a wallop here oh yeah we're gonna heal a bunch at the end of combat though uh, still the enemy's block. Deal 25 damage. Draw one card for each enemy. Okay. Exhaust one card whenever. Both cards are exhausted. All enemies lose 150 health. That's pretty cool. But. Not what we need. So I need to block 32. Which I can't do. So I really need to kill that one. Deal 25 damage. There, none of them are blocking though. Hmm. Okay. Double block here. And then this is 21. Hit him. I'm just going to take the death here. I didn't think it'd be that, like, that crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're still going to heal 31 at the end. You deal. I don't need that. I needed an attack card, really. We might just be dead dead here. Cause yeah, we're gonna gain five, but twenty. Yeah, we're one, one and dead. Just a oh, one, one left. I was like, yeah, we that just does it. Uh, that will kill us. Yeah. Um, Hornet. Here's Hornet again. Deal thirty. And there's Aspiration back again. Iron Fang would deal. Bunch. Yeah, I should do this. Hope for a high roll. Five block there. And I think we're at one again here. I don't want to like test that theory. I oh, know we got we're 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 good, I think. Oh, Retchu. That's Paradise lost again. 18 damage here. 
Make him weak. All right, we got that back. 10 damage coming in. We'll block here. All right, we'll leave it at that. This, this region from the... I assume it's from the... Uh, whenever you lose health. Yeah, it's from the Luminous Bracelet. Forgotten. They're not doing that much damage. So, actually, infinite beams here for a free attack. Um... I kind of want to try to end this. How many damage you're dead? Okay. No block here, so but I think I'll just take the six. Okay, well, a little bit less than six. Minor beam here. Yeah, we got plenty of strength, so we should be able to just... Okay. Faded memories. I should have just faded memory. I, I had that in a different way. Okay. Iron Fang does a ton here. Unending supply, irritability. I think we're good. Yeah. And we'll back up to 50 at the end. And that ended up being like a... A little bit of a nonsense one. Flesh Idol is just good. And then I don't think I want any of these. Dex card, sure. Um, upgrade, unknown, upgrade, one cost card. It's also fine. Hello, Nosferatu. I mean, this is just 13 healing, right? <laughs> All right. Aspiration. Mimicry. Give me 25. Uh, 43 more. Well, let's fade in memories first. I'll do 43 more. Down to two. Down. Take 10. And then we'll hit him because we should end up... I'll reaper him here. Yeah, gaining a bunch back. So that actually worked out in our favor a little bit. I keep seeing Meat Lantern coming to tempt me, but... I will not. Ooh, actually... Yeah, Snake Draw. Ah, oh, King of Greed. You, you've been uh, a thorn on my side before, so... Let's thirst. Make them bleed. What do I have? Bleed gain one strength. Oh, I can't do that. Might have been better to mimicry, honestly. Okay. Let's see. Pre-program. Put one of them into stasis. We'll just put Flying Rage. So we'll draw here. Ooh, good. Good draw on that one. Oh, and we got the two turns a week, which is very good. Because this should be their big attack, right? 29 here. Yeah, pretty, pretty big. Get in Gambit, draw one card for each enemy. And I can red shoe, but does that really help me here? I mean, I should do it. Requires 20 more block, gain 10. Oh, we're just gonna take 28 to the chin. Ow. Uh, 27 down, apply 5 bleed for every manifest played. By manifest. So we should play all of it by manifest, actually, if we can. Do that, do this, and then we'll... Oh, I don't have enough cards to exhaust to pay the manifest cost. Oops, deal. That's fine. And take six. Card cost zero. I mean, this will just kill them all, right? What is this one? Fourth match flame. I mean, that's really good. Iron Fang. Uh, I mean, Blind Rage kills... Both the frontliners. I take five. And then I can fragment here. And then one more attack and I got them. Yeah, 39 here. There's Hornet. Okay, I don't need any of these. Don't need any of those. Uh, no. I'm good on that. It's really trying to get me to take strike cards. All right, let's get our free identify here. Um, another hornet. Kill it. I mean, this seems really good. Cobalt scar also seems really good. I think I'll take cobalt scar here. Upgrade. I think iron fang. I see. I feel like I see a lot. So let's get that one upgraded. And honestly, I'm gonna go to. 
no, I want an elite fight. Let's do it. I was thinking on going to identify another card, but we'll see if I regret it or not. Um, Cobalt Scar here. Very early. Dual wheel with anger. And get that going. Boom, boom. Get those in the deck. Unending supply. Take an eight to start with. Okay. Well, seven. Whenever I say minus one for the tungsten rod. Faded here. Gambit. We'll take that wound here. That's fine. Apply that much poison. Randomly split among enemies. Not that great. I will hit them. Uh, unending snack bite first. That became free, which is very good. All right, that's fine. I don't think I could block through my my uh, servant here, but hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, he's 24 here. Remorse. Deal 25 damage. Apply three. Oh, it's a manifest too. It's actually fine here. Okay, I'm actually probably gonna play the remorse here for its cost. So we'll add. Well, this also will cycle the wound out. Can I hit you with this? No, I can't. Do this. Draw a card for each and add a void to your discard pile. Exhaust this and this. Two. I really don't want to exhaust this though. Remorse. One, two, three. Confusion. Okay. Still did not get any block here. He's also up to X cards. Deal H and get equal to their combined cost. Okay. We're just gonna take some damage here. <laughs> I was trying to make that work somehow. I mean, we got some regen, but we're just like hemorrhaging health. And then everything's so expensive. Uh, damage here for free. 40 damage for three. I mean, I to me whenever you lose health, they take that much, but that's not going to help me. Everything else is three, though. I mean, it's definitely this, but we're just. Oh, we're we've killed him. I said like we're just dead, but overall that was fine. I mean, that was not good, but I don't think I want any more cards, right? Yeah. Actually, give me a block card. I lied. All right, shopkeep. We'll see what we can do here. Cobalt scar here is very good. Um, we'll do this because it's not going to cost us anything. If I can heal some over this fight, it would be very nice. There's hornets. Well, there's pennants too. Hornet. Hornet. Pennants. Uh, and I think the shopkeeper may kill us here. I'm not completely, yep. <laughs> I was like, I'm not confident, but yeah, he did. We just are hemorrhaging so much health, but that was fun. I'm actually excited to do more Sneko runs because of the like combination of the ego stuff. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.